each get a glass just to kind of. There you go. Oh, so we're here at the Sorry, Speakeasy here at the Omni William Penn Hotel, and uh, everybody likes to celebrate birthdays. But this birthday has been going on for what nine months at this point, Andy? Well, yeah, it's it's a year long celebration of everything that's good and great and cool about Pittsburgh. And we're celebrating. Why wouldn't we celebrate with Meredith Grilly from Wigga Whiskey? We all have whiskey. Tell us about the whiskey you have specially made for the 200th birthday. Yeah, this is a barrel chosen by the Bicentennial Committee. Um, it's a straight rye whiskey. It's been in a barrel for over two years. Uh, we chose a rye barrel because, of course, when Pittsburgh made the country's whiskey, we were famous for Monongahela rye. So it's um, a pretty aggressive distillation, and we bottled it at about 100 proof. 50% ABV, so a sturdy whiskey for a sturdy city. Andy, it sounds like we're going to make history just drinking this whiskey together. We, we are making history. My eyes are still watering a little bit from that 100 proof <laughs> shot that I just took. But I'll tell you, rye whiskey is a special thing, and Pittsburgh was famous for rye whiskey. They used to sing, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get rye whiskey, I surely will die. Oh, beautiful. That's a great ending. <laughs> Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Pittsburgh's 200. Cheers we got Pittsburgh. Yeah, there you go.